Hi everyone, Kate is here and welcome back to the Crocoblog channel. Today we will learn how to create a relation between parent and child items right on the front end with the help of Jet Engine and Jet from Builder plugins. So we're going to be using the front end form submission functionality for that, but before we start working on it, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. And also please share your ideas or questions right in the comment section below, okay? So guys, shall we get started? Let's start with creating a relation first and then connecting its items between each other on the front end. So I plan on connecting Travel Tour CPT to the country's CPT to which they belong to. So let's follow to Jet Engine, Relations, and add a new one. Just as usual, here we need to name it first. So I'll go for Country to Tours choose parent object, which is country CPT, and then choose child object, tour CPT. And after that, set the relation to one to many in the relation type. Why? Because one country can have multiple tours, but one tour can belong only to one particular country. Both register controls for parent object and register controls for child object options will leave enabled. And as for allowed to create new children from parent and allowed to create new parents from children, these options are not really necessary for us in this case, so I'll skip them. But I will enable register separate DB table for better performance. Okay, so I'll not use custom labels now and additional meta fields are not really needed here as well, but you're totally welcome to use them and add them if you like. So let's hit add relation to save the changes. Good. So since our relation is ready now, we can proceed with creating a form that will give us an opportunity to link the related items between each other. Let's follow to JetForm Builder, Forms, and click on Add New button. Add the title first. Let it be Form for Relations. Here, just as usual, we already have a couple of fields pre-created. So, Hidden Field, Text Field, and Action Button. Hidden field settings can stay unchanged as they will provide the current post ID just what we need. As for the text field, we can transform it into the heading field and set the field label to choose country, change the form field name to country as well, and no description is needed here. Okay, now we can add another field for the list of the parent items, which are countries. So I'll go for the radio field in this case because we should be able to select only one option from the list in this form. So in the fill options from field, choose posts. In the post type, choose country CPT. Then let's proceed to the general settings and set the label to list of countries. The same will go for the form field name. Just please keep in mind to use lowercase letters here with no spaces, okay? Now, we don't need field description here, but as for the default value, here we'll use the dynamic tags functionality. So first, let's choose the source to get the values from, which is related items in our case. Now pick the relation, country to tours, the one that we just created, and define the object to get related items from. In our case, it is parent. Initial object ID will stay the same, current object ID, and hit update button. Now we can proceed to the jet form tab to customize the settings of the form itself and set post submit actions. 
So let's set the fields layout to column and submit type to Ajax. In the post submit actions, change the send email action to connect relation items and click on the added button to customize its settings. Choose the relation, the items of which we want to link with each other, country to tours, define the parent item ID, which we'll get from the list of countries field, and the child item ID, which will be pulled from the post ID. And the last thing we need to do is to select the update context. In this case, we will be updating parent items from the child object. Hit the Update button and save the changes we made to the form itself. OK, our form is ready and now we can add it to the single page template of the Tours CPT to give users an opportunity to assign countries to tours on the front end. For that, let's follow to Crocoblock, Theme Builder and open Single Tour Template with Elementor. So my idea is to place the form right under the tour details. That is why let's search for the Jet Form widget and drop it onto the canvas. Choose the form for relations from the list, select column as the field layout and Ajax as submit type. And now give me a minute to change the style settings, okay? And we are done. One more thing that I want to do is show this form only to the users with appropriate permissions, such as author, editor, and administrator. For that, let's open Advanced tab and enable Dynamic Visibility option. If you don't see it in this list, most likely it's because you didn't enable Dynamic Visibility for Widgets and Sections module in the Jet Engine dashboard. OK. So here, we need to choose the visibility condition type, show element if condition met works just fine for us. And let's define the condition. I'll go for user role is and pick roles for author, editor and administrator. Good. Now we can update the template and proceed to the front end. OK, so here's our single page for the tour Wonderful USA. I'm currently logged in as an administrator and as you can see, the form is available for me at the moment. But let's try to open this page in the new private window without logging in. There we go. The form is now hidden for other users who don't have appropriate permissions. So dynamic visibility is working just fine. OK, so let's go back to the previous page and try to submit the form. This tour, Wonderful USA, belongs to the USA, obviously. That is why let's tick this country and hit submit button. Great. Right now, let's open either parent or child post to see if the relation was created. Let's follow to country CPT and open USA post. OK, as you can see, the wonderful USA post has now been added to the list of children tours for this particular country. And that's pretty much it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it was useful. And if so, don't forget to give it a like. Also, ask your questions in the comment section below or contact our support team so they could assist you. Have a lovely day and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers, guys!